Hi everyone, welcome to your alchemy scope. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the energetic story that is encoded for this particular cycle. And to do that, we tap into the Sabian symbol that is encoded at the exact degree point of our sun moon conjunction, which is our new moon point, which naturally begins the new monthly cycle. And traditionally, new moons are understood to be, they're known to be reflective of, symbolic of a seeding time. It's the time of the dark moon and you seed anew and then there is fruition then at the full moon. So what is seeding us now? The symbol for 19 degrees Libra, the point of our new moon is a rabbi performing his duties, a beautiful symbol. You might find that you will during this time frame inherently have a desire, an impetus, a call to be more aligned with a matured, higher aspected self, to be a model of integrity and to perhaps teach that to others, but even if it's not teaching, to become an embodied model of what it's like to be a more evolved version of yourself. So this is an interesting symbol, certainly spiritually based, um, but also in the teaching realm. And teaching happens through various ways. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at the I Ching hexagram that came forward to reflect the particular micro cycle for Scorpio centric people at this time. This is the energy set of the month ahead. You received number 45, Gathering Together. The two trigrams that make up this particular hexagram are Lake Above and Earth Below. The power of gathering together is represented by a rally where each individual's strength is magnified by the power of the community as a whole. History has shown that mass movements can bring about stable, ordered, and durable conditions for the better. This reading may be pointing to an auspicious time for large undertakings, but the guiding force of a shared vision is essential to hold the forces of unity together and keep them advancing toward a common goal. Any time of unity is a time of potential greatness, but that can manifest as both positive and negative. Everything is magnified when masses of people unite for a single purpose. When many people unite behind a single goal or strong vision, it is optimal to be mindful and protect your own reasonable self-interest because these can easily be lost in the crowd. Hi Scorpio, welcome to your November Alchemy Scope. So let's get started on your spread. I'm using my 144 card Siri deck again this month. I've already shuffled because it's a big process to do it. And I have a special treat for you this time. So I hope you're going to appreciate it. So let's go ahead and pull. This is a, a synchronic spread. Looks like there's some illness perhaps coming up for some of you. Now a reminder that when I pull Scorpio, the spread, what I'm asking is, um, at least for the predominance of Scorpio-centric people out there, what uh, situation or circumstance might be arising. So let's see what's coming up. Oh, 
Okay, beauties. So, Scorpio, there's... Uh... Let me take a look here. Let me look first, and then I'm going to show you some of these cards, yeah? Um, okay, you're going to be... The central issue for some of you out there is going to be with regards to a, perhaps moving. It might be relocating. But you're going to be thinking and imagining, um, dreaming about what you want in regards to a place, a location. It could be a place that you've at, you know about, that you've visited before, or it could be a place that you don't know. You, you know you want to leave and go somewhere, but you know that you want to feel at peace there. You know that you want to be in a place where you feel at peace, at ease. Because what it looks like, Scorpio, we're going to leave these upright. Um, what it looks like is that you're, you're going to be thinking about what has been toxic in your life. Now, this could be health. It could be that you're having thoughts of your own ill health, whether it be physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, or it could be that your circumstances feel toxic and you're thinking about that and thus you're thinking about the new place, Scorpio. But healing is, the healing card did come up and you're looking for support. But again, the healing card, this came up in the spiritual sector, Scorpio, for you. And this could be spiritual healing, like you're literally looking for a place where you can, that's going to support you. I'm going to turn these upright. The reason, by the way, for the reversals is to provide more information for each sector. So now that we know how many cards, I'm going to put them upright. So this is about a healing path that is supportive for you. So perhaps the toxicity, Scorpio, has been a lack of support for some of you out there. You're going to be in a place, again, this is a general reading, but for some of you out there, of really um, be, being resolute in insisting that you get the help you need the assistance you need this is also guidance like this could be a spiritual guide for example could be help of some sort now this is not uh unusual for this time frame a lot of people are very uprooted and they're needing to find their new roots as you've come into a place of new energetic alignment during this chapter portal refers to chapter of time a temporary time frame so during this time frame scorpio you're going to be insisting for ease you want to relax you want to be happy you know it's it's interesting because you received the grace card you received the support card and you've received the do not worry card. This is about relaxing and letting things kind of surrendering to process and um, getting the help you so deserve, getting the help you need. I love this for you. I mean, to me, this is forward movement from where it's been over the last many months because it has been quite intense. You are, now again, interesting, because it could be for a lot of you out there, you are going through some health issues and you are going through a cleanse, a healing cleanse, a bodily cleanse. Um, this did come up, however, in the emotional sector. So it could be that you're looking at a spiritual retreat going on an adventure that is actually going to be a cleansing adventure, a purging adventure. A healing adventure it does look like body healing is in fact coming up Scorpio for a lot of you but if it's not body then it's mind or it's body 
Okay, so let's take a look. So I'm gonna do something new this time. And this is something I have wanted to do since before I started the channel a year ago. Look what popped out. I'm gonna keep that out. Um, so this, this idea came from a, the wonderful Elizabeth Harper, who I love. And she's done this forever, really when she started her channel, about doing the intuitive polls because we are in a state now where it's critical you know, it's obligatory, really, that we um, up-level our psychic abilities. And because I've been wanting to incorporate this again since before I started my first alchemy scope and am just now doing it, I thought, well, maybe this is the perfect time frame since we just went through this energetic gamma ray surge um, in September. So what I'm going to do, Scorpio, for you is pull three archetype cards and I'm going to lay them out and I want you to tune in to one of the three cards and I'm going to read each one, but you, the one that you tune into, the one that you are really attracted to of the three, that's the one that is your particular archetypal quality set that is wanting to be matured through you now. So let's take a look. And then while I lay them out, and as you're tuning in, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the um, Ascended Master. So this is for the first card for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. You know what I think I might do? Let me pull these others and then I might pick up the spread. You're my very first one this month. So let's see how this is working. So this is the second card for Scorpio. Oh, how exciting. Okay, so begin to tune in. This is the third card for Scorpio. All right, so those are the three. Let me go ahead and pick up the spread actually so you can tune into them appropriately. Okay. Beauty. Okay. So, Scorp. So, start to tune in, okay? And Liberator popped out. So, I'll read that. Let me go ahead and first pull your Ascended Master. So, this is, of course, Doreen Virtue's um, uh, Ascended Master's deck. And we're going to see which master wants to come up for at least the majority of Scorpios out there. Which Ascended Master for Scorpio? Follow your heart. St. Francis is coming up. This is um, talking about really tuning into your feeling body, your emotional states, following what brings you joy, bliss, passion, following the things that um, you feel a tug for, a compassionate pull toward, an empathetic vibe for. This is also about connecting with the animal kingdom because there are animals that are very, very um, communicative lately. Some of you out there have also had some experiences that you've shared with me about having experiences with animals that have been quite unique lately. I have also had that left and right. So tune in to animals around you. They have messages for you. They also have comfort for you. For those of you out there that are having various kinds of healing crises, whether they be spiritual or physical, uh, animals will help you. So that is a beautiful Ascended Master for you. Okay, Scorpio, so let me read Liberator first. So Liberator popped out of the deck. This is an evolution from imposing your tyranny over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints, into freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. So this is a collective archetypal quality set 
a growth edge, what wants to be matured for, because it popped out so distinctly right at the front of this for you, I would say this is a very, very strong message that Scorpios must attend to their own thought patterns and take full accountability for their own thoughts, their own beliefs, their own emotional patterns. This is very important. This recently came up with the Scorpio person for me, a a, not a client, but a viewer. And it's very important. People live in delusion. And it's very important that people own their own thoughts, that they really tune in and realize what it is that's driving their behavior. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn these over. Okay, so if you picked this card, this one on the far left, uh, you received Hermit. And let me read it. So this is about um, moving away from withdrawing from society out of fear or f negative judgments and refusing to help those in need to seeking solitude to focus intently on inner life serves personal creativity. So it's about developing, it's moving away from fear of engagement to utilization of isolation to really hone your creative skill and your creative spirit. I love that. Okay, Scorp, so the center card for you is networker. So again, let me read it here. So the lower manifestation is conveying information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. The higher frequency, what wants to be matured, enhances unity through the sharing of information, engenders social awareness and empathy. Again, empathy coming up here. That's also with the follow your heart card. Beautiful. Scorpio. So let's take a look at the third one here. Uh, beautiful. The fool. Now I have to say, I'll read, this is Carolyn Mrs. Deck. I'm going to read it here. It's a little, it's different than the tarot fool. So the shadow frequency um, manifestation of fool is using humor to wound rather than to liberate, rather than to liberate. Denial of your own emotional truth. The evolved manifestation is fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. Gorgeous. Love this for you. So um, hopefully that that's a lot of information. So I hope that that um, will help you during the course of this cycle for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. So let's move on to the final component of your alchemy scope this month. We come to the Dakini Goddess. I pull up the Dakini Goddess in order to evoke the quality set for you to embody in order to walk this month with least effort and maximal flow. You received a beautiful Dakini, number 51 Alchemica. Alchemica takes the raw elements of the earth and transforms them through the marriage of fire and water. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to do this a little bit differently this month. I'm going to read the Dakini transmission here that was written by Penny Slinger. This is from, by the way, the 64 Dakini Oracle. And as you know, if you've tuned in before, Penny has written up a whole PDF document on each Dakini and those can be accessed through the online library that I have and the link to that is below this video. So here is the Dakini transmission for Alchemica. The key to alchemy is holding on to essence while you fire the dross away. A catalyst is necessary once the main elements come into play. When poison becomes elixir, 
and night turns into day, the philosopher's stone shines and frightens death away. Was it spiritual or material riches you wanted, did you say? Let me read that again. And again, this is a reminder. This is who you are to embody, who you are to become, the qualities to hold and to evoke within you. The key to alchemy is holding on to essence while you fire the dross away. A catalyst is necessary once the main elements come into play. When poison becomes elixir and night turns into day, the philosopher's stone shines and frightens death away. Was it spiritual or material riches you wanted, did you say? So Scorpio, I wish you a wonderful month ahead and I will talk to you again very soon. Sending you love.